Hey there, Gemini. Uh, welcome to reading for April uh, 2017. Um, this month, I'm going to be mixing things up and doing things a little bit more differently as far as the readings are concerned. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be taking a look at kind of the bigger energies that you could be dealing with in April. So you start off with the Five of Diamonds, a very good card for money, of course, and money coming in, starting new things, as I always say. But this is a card also about determining um, your personal freedom is the message that I'm getting off of it uh, this month. So I feel like a lot of you could be looking at your careers and um, even if you're retired, I mean, you could be looking at like how much time you're spending, maybe fixing your home or anything like that. But I think mostly for those of you with a career, you are looking at how much time you're spending on the career and being like, uh, you know, what do I want to do? Do I want to spend this much time on my career? Do it. I mean, this is really what I want to do or... Um, do I want to do something else? Am I getting fulfillment out of it? This is a card of fulfillment, interestingly enough. It has to do with sales and being in sales and selling and marketing and things, which has to do with fulfillment. But again, it's it, I think it's kind of like a literal meaning for you this month. That's definitely the message as well that I'm getting, that you're like looking and saying like, is my life fulfilled? Am I like happy with this? Am I happy with things going on? You have a couple cards here. Like a lot of you could be questioning whether or not you want to have a family, whether you don't want to have a family, uh, you know, all, all these things come up with this card. And, and I think a lot of you could be coming to, like, a lot of uh, conclusions uh, with that. And uh, I think a lot of you could be also uh, looking for more ways to get away from your desk this month. Even if the, even if you're watching this in March and you're like, no, no way, I'm going to, I want to work. I think by the time you get to April, um, you will be looking for ways, again, to kind of get away, to take more time off or uh, just do things more out in the field, so to speak. Um, also, a card of um, that represents budgeting and keeping a budget uh, this month. I actually think your next card is very good for money, so um, I, I wouldn't be too worried about it, but definitely a card of maybe kind of uh, socking away just like a little bit of extra money this month. That could be very helpful to you, um, you know, because maybe you'll need it. And I feel like once we get to May, um, it, if you have that money left over, well, then you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. But I think this month would be a good month for you to maybe... Um, keep a little extra money or maybe, you know, go out less or something just so you have a little bit of extra money um, this month. Also a card to be careful of um, arguments. It can be a card that can have you being a little bit more sensitive to criticisms of, of people around you, especially at work as well. Um, but other than that, it's a card of a spiritual development um, in, in becoming more spiritual in your career as well. Looking, lo looking at things differently, thinking about outcome and things like that a little bit differently as well. Uh, next, again, like I said, very good card, Two of Diamonds. Great for money and more money coming in. It can even represent a windfall of cash, a large amount of money um, coming in to you. I think the most important thing about this card is it's a card that represents um, just really kind of wanting to dive into something, like really taking over, being willing to do things like take over a project, take over a business uh, to make a lot of extra cash uh, or to make that m money come in to you. It can also represent a business partner, a new business partner coming in. This would be somebody you match up with really well. Again, twos just represent perfect matches. And they represent, um, um, you know, again, uh, that perfect match, being with somebody who's a perfect match for you. It's also a card of, like, responsibility. So it says if you do match with somebody this month, they could be extremely responsible. That could be one of their greatest kind of virtues that would really be able to help you out in a lot of ways. Uh, so it's a really great card uh, to, to have this month, I think, money-wise as well. It's also a card that says, as far as finances are concerned, which seems to be maybe your focus this month, it does say to fo to uh, mostly trust yourself. Two, as I always say, are you and your higher self. They're you and yourself, basically. You talking to yourself. Um, so trust yourself when it comes to money this month. And even if you have like a spouse or something like that, who might have some money ideas, trust, I would say, trust your feelings over their feelings this month. And if you feel like they're about to make a bad decision, again, this is a card of having great financial uh, abilities and great financial thoughts. So again, if you feel like your spouse or a friend or something like that is about to make a mistake, feel free to uh, step in and say something and prevent them from making that mistake. That doesn't mean that they still won't do it, but at least you kind of said your piece this month. So I do feel like that in a lot of ways, this card be, could be coming in um, as far as... Um, and it could be coming in as a like a protection card, you protecting somebody else, which would be nice. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Spades. Ten of Spades is a card that does represent disappointments and 
um, uh, overcoming disappointments as well. But it's mostly a card of past disappointments, as I always say. It's kind of like a transition card, almost like a death card. It says you are transitioning, overcoming these these difficulties. Under uh, certain card reading systems, um, actually, well, let me just say this. Under, you know, you, you have a very successful month, I would say. Five of diamonds, two of diamonds, great money cards. Under a lot of card reading systems, this card, it does actually represent success because it represents um, having a fear of loss of money, having a fear of poverty, basically. And so you're asking probably, why does that make me successful? Well, because that fear drives you to, you know, work your butt off, basically, and, and make as much as you possibly can. So you could be very driven by um, feeling a lack of finances that probably doesn't even really exist. Like, again, it could be in your head. You could just be worried about those things. I also feel like the message I'm getting off this card is that you're going to be looking for new ways to, um, for longer term things. Like, I don't think, like, I think some of you who maybe had businesses in the past or whatever that didn't last, I think a lot of you are, are, are thinking a lot more intelligently about the things that you work on and you're looking for things that last. I, I guess that's the only way to say it. You're looking for projects and businesses that you can work on that are going to last for the rest of your life. You're, you're not so interested in kind of a quick buck anymore. I think you're interested in things that are more long term. Uh, so that's very good as well. Another card that can make you feel restless, if I didn't say it, the five of diamonds, fives can make us feel restless. They can make us feel like sometimes that we're like not doing enough in life in general, in, you know, kind of just in a general sense. And they, it can put pressure on us to do more. Same with this ten of spades. Again, it can create this pressure and, and not just finance it, in other areas as well, in our relationships, with our children, you know, whatever. Uh, it, it can create these kind of like fears and things like that. Uh, great card. Tens are always great for education as well, increasing your education, coming up with new ways of, of learning things. Also, um, if you're looking for a job, looking for jobs where they want you to, to do on-the-job training. Those types of things could be very helpful for you if you're looking for a job. And, and if you haven't gotten one yet, again, it could say, hey, um, you know, the reason you haven't gotten a job is because the universe wants you to push yourself, wants you to get something where you might have to like look for something else. Other than that, um, this is a great card for helping other people as well, and for doing th like um, you know offering services to other people um, who are in need. So any of you who are volunteering your time, you could get a lot back. Uh, spades cards are very spiritual, and they can kind of loosely represent karma that comes back to you. So uh, you could feel very fulfilled this month if you do something uh, like that in service of other people. Uh, and finally, you have the King of Hearts. Somebody else had the King of Hearts. I want to say it was maybe Aries. Definitely a card of dealing with authority. Comes up all the time for you. Gemini, you're probably sick and tired of hearing me say it because, uh, you know, the authority thing comes up for you a lot. But definitely a card of dealing with leaders. And, or, and it could be you becoming a leader yourself. Um, you know, kings could be you. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female. As I always say, I don't attach sex to my cards, so it doesn't matter. Um, but it could be you looking for um, new leadership roles. Uh, sometimes this card can also represent and kind of just a message coming in is that I feel like a lot of you could just be um, uh, looking to take a new leadership role in your own life but in, it, in like a totally different sense like again like I, I think I said this last week I do feel like there's for some of you Gemini's for a certain percentage there's like this battle between tradition and uh, doing something else that you want um, in life and, and definitely a message that keeps coming in for you um, so I think that a lot of you are trying to figure out like do I want to live in the corporate world or do I really want to start my own business or, you know, take the risk or do I want to do something else? That's definitely the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts thinks about that a lot. Uh, also with this card, and I think I said it to Aries because, again, I think they have this card. I'm pretty sure it was Aries. Um, you know, this is a card of deciding how much time and energy you're putting into things. Again, five of diamonds, same thing. Uh, you know, it's a card of deciding, like, am I putting in too much time, too much work into what I'm doing? and not getting enough out, or or am I? Again, um, there is no right or wrong here. The, the answer that you get could be, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. It could be either way. Great card for those of you who are parents as well. Um, it does say that you could be bringing a lot of more balance into your children's life at this time, as which is great. Um, being able to provide them with more balance in the home life, just creating more balanced children in a lot of ways. It's also a great card for like trust and people trusting you at this time and it gives you of course an amazing work ethic at this time uh, wanting to work very hard um, towards you know some sort of goal which is very nice but looks like a very interesting month for you so uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your April